bestie welcome back to my channel after sharing my agency rates with you guys i've been receiving emails and questions about agencies that pay high here in united kingdom and today i'll be sharing with you 10 agencies that actually pay high rates and two of these agencies are recruiting overseas staffs right now what it means is that they are recruiting people from their home country so if you are not in united kingdom you can actually apply and if you they found you um, qualified for the role you can be sponsored to come down to united kingdom and work under these agencies also in this video i'll be sharing the pros and cons of working as an agency staff and this will help you to make a very good decision on which way to go so let's dive right into the video remember to subscribe click the like button and share to your loved ones the first one on our list is north plus North Plus is a very good agency and I will highly recommend them. The second on our list is New Cross. New Cross is really good. Their rate is really very fantastic. The third one on our list is Mayfair Specialties. They recruit both nurses, um, healthcare assistants, doctors and other health professionals. The next one is Nursing Personnel. Yes, it's an agency here in the United Kingdom, especially England, that recruits healthcare assistants and nurses. The next one is VIP Nursing. It's an agency too, and they are good. The next one is Mayday. Yeah, so Mayday is a good one. Another one is ID Medicals. ID Medicals is one of the um, recruitment um, agency, healthcare rec recruitment agency, that actually recruits overseas staffs, and I'll be showing you that on their website soon. So this is ID Medicals, their website. You can look at what they do. 95%, 8 million hours and all that. But what I want to show you is what they want. Healthcare professionals, they want doctors, nurses, AHP and HSS and oversee. Here they said helping international healthcare professionals looking to relocate to the UK to support the NHS find out more so if you are watching me from the overseas id medicals is here for you you can go to their website and open find out more and you get all the information that you need i wish you all the best is tombury nursing services short form known as tns so tns is a really good one you can check them out if they have shifts in your location or they are very active within your area the next one is Pulse Nursing. Yes, Pulse Nursing there is also a very good one to look out for if they have something in your area. Ambition 24. So Ambition 24 is a recruitment agency for healthcare um, assistants and nurses. So you can check that out. If they have shifts on, in your area, you register with them and pick up shifts. Another one is Medgen. Medgen. So I will also be showing you their website and how you can do all your stuff there. Mediax. So Mediax is also a good one. You can look out for them and register with them. Pulse Nursing, Pulse Nursing. They recruit for nurses and also for healthcare assistants. The next one is Scottish Nursing Guild. Scottish Nursing Guild. The, I think this one operates mainly in Scotland. So if you are in Scotland and you're a nurse or your healthcare assistant, you can look out for this agency. Go to their website and search for um their recruitment process register with them and you you are sure to get a very good rate for any shift you pick up with them let five services are used to convert money across currencies transfer money to your friends and loved one back home and also you can add referral bonus for using these services the link is on my comment section and on the description of this video you can transfer money from united kingdom canada and the us to 10 african countries like nigeria ghana rwanda and a host of other african countries they also have a welcome back package when you use my code that you see on the screen right now you will get a 10 pound cashback for a transaction of 100 pound what you convert is exactly what the recipient gets you do not have any hidden charges or charge for anything so if you transfer 100 pound they are getting the equivalent of 100 pound as at the exchange rates of when the transaction was done use lemify services today so going to the pros and cons of working with an agency one of the pros of working with an agency is their rates yes everybody already know this is a known fact that agency rates are good 
they are better than your permanent job rates so you can get as much as 15 pound per hour 25 pound per hour depending i'm even talking about healthcare assistant when you go to nurses some nurses take as much as 35 pound to 60 pound per hour on agency nursing then the second um advantage is what flexibility there is flexibility with agency nursing um, agency um staffing because you tend to choose your shift or you put days that you are available to pick up shifts and they will always work with that um days that is available to you you don't like feel guilty of not going to work on a certain day even if something comes up and you need to cancel you cancel and another person picks up the shift not like how it is with permanent job that maybe the rota has been set for the month you have to work within the rota and if there's any need for you to cancel shift you need to give a, a, enough reasons why you want to cancel shift so there's a lot of flexibility with agencies then the third one is payday so most agencies pay you some agency pay you that day 24 hours some people pay 72 hours which is three days some people pay um seven days a week and some people pay every two two weeks so with agency shifts you are sure to receive your money immediately but most um, permanent jobs will pay you um, monthly though some also pay um, like every two weeks or weekly but you mostly see monthly with um, permanent jobs but with agency shifts you might get your hour, uh, pay pay in 24 hours you might get your pay in three days which is 72 hours you can also get your pay in one week so the frequency of the shift so if you actually need money urgently and you want to do something with the money picking up an agency shift will just help you to get the quick access to money that you need if you have any any of these agencies that you have worked for and your experiences with them i would want soft work i would really say this most agency shifts that i've ever gone for uh, have always been my easiest work here in united kingdom compared to permanent jobs and even if you go, when you go for an agency shift you understand what i mean most of the staffs are giving the harder jobs and the agency person is coming in to do the lesser job you can imagine maybe a care home of um 65 um, residents then they have one person that is um prone to harm yourself or self um self-harming or suicidal or something that just needs some form of support they will now call in an agency um a recruitment agency to uh, get a healthcare assistant or a support worker that will come in and do one-on-one -on -one with this particular resident while the other 63 residents are being taken care of by six or eight staffs so even if you divide it eight people divided by 63 one person is already getting like um, another eight people to 10 people under their care these 10 people they have to do personal care for them do the part changes do the feeding everything they need to do for these eight people that is under their care that is if they have up to um eight staff on that shift but you as the agency staff you only have one person to just cater for always and make sure that the person is okay so most times the agency works are softer then you will see um, very high-end um citizens here in united kingdom people that the government is taking care of or something they will not require agency staff to come in and they come in to do um home care for them and you find out that they are not doing a whole lot of things so most times agency work are more easier when compared to taking up a permanent job i i hope um that makes sense so let's go to the cons yes everything that has advantage always have disadvantages so these are the disadvantages of this of agency shifts number one uncertainty and no job security because you don't know um when the shift will come will these shifts come um will they come when you are available and all that it brings a lot of uncertainty and a lot of um your job you don't have this job security because with permanent job you have your hours that you work in a week and at the end of the month you know that you are expecting a, a certain amount of money but with agency shifts it depends if you pick more shifts you get more money you pick less shifts you get less money if there is no available shift you get less money if the shifts that are available are not tallying with your own um free time it's also likely that you will not work so there is a lot of uncertainty there is a lot of um there is no job security with agencies then the second um con of being an agency staff is traveling long distances yes there might be need for you to travel long distances because it depends on where they get clients where they get a client that need your services is where you will go for so you don't say ah i will not go sometimes if you decide not to travel for travel far it means you might not 
be getting shifts as much as possible so if you want to really be getting shifts you will be open to travel long distances and everybody knows that it's not easy to travel sometimes you need to take the train take the bus sometimes you need to take taxi sometimes the um the area might be a remote area that doesn't have good bus connections um doesn't have good train connection you might need to even trek or um get an uber before you can get to such locations so the traveling time traveling stress and everything that comes with commuting as an agency staff is not an easy thing if you want to pick a, a permanent job i don't think you'll pick something that will be so difficult like that you always look for something within your area and get a job there so the next one on is hostility of staff and also working environment so sometimes you find out that as an agency staff the other staff there become hostile to you they might hide information they might not want to help you out when you really need something so before you start being an agency staff i would advise that if you can get a permanent job and get grounded in your experience like you know what you're supposed to do and how you're supposed to do things so that you will not be messed up like when you go for your shift they'll just okay you are the one they are paying the higher money or you do your work don't ask me you might ask them some simple questions they will not answer you and there might there might be things that that team spirit is not there let me just put it that way with where you are working permanently there is this bonding there is this team spirit there is this ability to help one another that is there but actually there are some places that you go to you still feel welcomed you still feel like you are among the uh, team and the staff members and you'll be able to do your work freely and everybody will be happy but there are still places you will go to you will not feel that sort of bonding you feel like you are working alone so that is one of the disadvantage of being an agency worker then the next disadvantage is lone working yes some shifts might require that you work as a lone worker so as an agency staff you should always know how to safeguard yourself safeguard your residence and read your environment properly know when to exit from your or your environment and that is also where um the agency you register with comes in handy because if you register with anyhow agencies that do not look after their staff do not prepare you for what you are going in for you are going to struggle with a lot of things but if you register with the right people and um, like all these agencies that I, I mentioned not just that their rates are good they also have very good reviews they've actually been good um with their staffing and their communication with their staff i actually had a friend that had one encounter like that um she's a not plus staff and immediately she called the editor and said, see what is happening. They told her, leave that shift and come home. Leave that shift. Leave there. They, she said um, that she don't know where the boss, that, that she has booked her train or something like that. They sent a taxi that will come and pick her. They looked for a taxi for her. Taxi came and picked her up and she got home. And they actually even paid her for that shift, even while she did not complete it. She was like two or three hours into the shift before the safeguarding issue happened. So also, the agency that you work with matters so that when you are doing loan working or you are working in somewhere that has some safeguarding issues, you can be rest assured that they have your best interest at heart the next one negative feedback most times with agency staffs i think they are just waiting for you to make a mistake or do something not um so on the right way and immediately they have given their negative feedback to your agency some people go as far as saying so 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 person should not come to our care home again or so 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 person should not come to this service user or this and that but when you're a permanent worker even if there is an um, issue between you and the service user uh, they will always call you to say ah, what happened you explain your own side of the story the person explains their own side of the story then they will use discretion and decide okay actually this person is actually like this but with agency staff i think most times they are they are they are just waiting to give this negative feedback to your agency to always say ah this particular person should stop coming to our care home or stop coming to our um, service user or we don't want her attending or to this person or the other person so you should be mindful of that as an agency staff make sure you reports everything and anything that happened on your shift to your to the people that you are working for and also to your agency if there is anything that is there any cause for alarm make sure you even be the first to report to your agency before they um give the feedback so that at least you would have had the opportunity to say how um it actually happened so i hope with this point you will be able to navigate your way around getting a job as an agency staff and also protecting yourself while doing your job and earning your money remember to subscribe see you in my next one if you have actually worked with any of these agencies you can just comment and give them a review on the comment section
Thank you.